Okay, hi guys, about to make another video. I look a damn crazy mess because I've been sleeping and shit all day. Um, but at least I shaved the side of my head because it was like all fru for status <laughs> since I had my surgery. Um, but I just want to say like the experience um, of like, you know, some people are scared and stuff like that. Um, I like wanted this so bad that I was never really scared until the night before. Um, but your doctor prescribes you Valium and I took that and I went to sleep and then I woke up and then he told me to take another one in the morning and I was literally like calm, like just normal. I wasn't nervous on the ride there or anything. Um, I am scared of needles so when I got there she blew my vein out um, and I almost passed out on that so the anesthesiologist had to came in and he literally poked me like on this hard part um, and they actually numb you first because the needle is super big so they poke you and they numb you and then they stick you and you could still feel it even though it's numb like that shit hurt bad but I was recovering from this. I was like, I, I can't see. I'm about to pass out. I was spinning. I was sweating. That was the worst freaking part. Um, I actually didn't pass out. I prevented myself. So I was really happy about that. Um, then the anesthesiologist came in. He was really, really nice. And he saw that I was nervous just because of a freaking needle, not really because of the surgery. Um... He got me right away, taped me up, I was all good, and then he was like, I'm going to give you something to relax. And I was like, okay, cool, because I was just like, I was upset about this, like, <laughs> that's what I was fucking freaking out about the whole time. Um, and I don't know what he gave me, but the wall was like, moving, I was like, calm, and I felt better, and I was like... <laughs> The wall is moving. It was like melting and like moving and like swishing around and stuff. And he was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I was just like, like that was crazy. And then from there, they were just like, well, let's, we're going to walk to the uh, operating room. And then we walked there. And then I remember laying on the table and I literally, I like, I thought I was going to lay there for like 10 minutes, you know, like hook this up, hook that up or whatever. <laughs> Um, so I laid on the table and it was really warm and it was comfortable and then there was like cuff thingies that they like put on your legs. I didn't know if it was high blood pressure because there was like three of them and they kept squeezing but it felt so so good and I just remember feeling that and I was like oh man like it felt so good and I didn't know if that was because of what he gave me in this arm that I thought it felt so good but he was like all right, you know, put your arms out like that. And he was like, just relax. And then he was like, I'm going to give you another shot of whatever he gave me the first time to calm me down some more. And then I was like, oh, okay, because like I thought I was getting nervous because I thought I was going to have to lay there, you know, get this ready, get that ready, start panicking and stuff. Um, but he gave me a shot to like relax again. And then the next thing I remember, like just seconds later, he was like, good night. He didn't tell me to count backwards or nothing. Like, it was funny. I just remember feeling those things. And I was like, oh, that feels good. And I, like, I just had my eyes closed because I didn't want to freak out. And I was just, like, you know, concentrating on those things. And he was like, I'm going to give you something to relax. And then he was just like, good night. And then the next thing, like, fucking I was asleep, dude. And then the next thing, um, I woke up and she said that I was already in recovery. I didn't know I was in recovery. Um, she was like, okay, uh, honey, you know, it's time to wake up. Um, and then I was like, no, I'm going to go back to sleep. And I tried fucking like rolling over on my side. I was like, no, I'm tired. I'm going to go back to sleep. She goes, well, you've been in recovery. So if you open up your eyes right now, you can go home. And I was like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I want to go home. So I like fucking like sat up and I was like, let's get it going. I was like, but I want a soda. I was also, you need to give me a soda. And she was like, uh, well, we don't have soda. And I was like, but that's what I want. Like, I want a soda. Like, that's all I cared about was a soda. And she's like, well, are you in any pain? And I was like, no, not really. And then she gave me like a Valium or whatever because that's what they give you. Um, she gave me that just because I guess she knew I was going to be in pain on the car ride. Um, 
And she gave me that with water. Um, she was like, here, let's get you dressed. I was like, I don't want to get dressed. Just leave me in my bra. And then they they wheelchaired me out to the car. And then I got in the car. I don't really remember the car ride back. Like, I was just tired. But I wasn't acting funny, like, off anesthesia, like, saying weird things, like how most people do. I was just tired. Like, I was just normal. Like, I all I wanted was a, was a soda. So we stopped and got a soda. Um... And this was from Las Cruces. So we, my surgery was in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and we're in El Paso. So the drive was about an hour back home. It wasn't bad, um, you know, because I had my hydrocodones and my Valium and stuff like that. Um, and Silas is getting my attention back there. Uh, but it wasn't bad, um... I'm trying to remember. It's kind of a, everything's a fog now. Um, I think I came home and just like slept. I don't really like remember. The volume makes you like not really remember. Um, but like honestly, I wasn't really in pain. It's not excruciating. It's like when you're your first time being pregnant and your boobs are you know real sore that you can't touch. And it hurts like uh, when you're pregnant, it hurts to put on a bra or take it off. That's exactly how it feels like on top of working out. When you're working out and you're benching and you're, you know, you're working out those muscles and the next day you're like, ah. Oh. So it's like being pregnant and working out together. That's exactly what it feels like. It's very tolerable for me at least. It wasn't a big like pain thing unless my pain tolerance is high. I know when I had Silas, that was the worst pain of my life. So, honestly, this just, it was nothing to me. Like, um, I, I don't know. So, I mean, other people have different experiences. I think if you've had a child, you can do anything. Um, and this does not compare to that at all. Um, so, I mean, what's today? It's already day six. And I've noticed I can squish them a lot, a lot more today. Um, they're starting to like, like I can do that and it doesn't hurt. So they're getting more squishy. They're dropping more. Um, I can bounce them a little bit. This one's still way high. This one's way up here still. This one's not as high. So... We'll just see, you know, it's just time for them to drop and be fuller and bigger and where they're supposed to be. Um, also, I got silicone. It's the squishy stuff under the muscle, 500 cc's. I wanted 600. The doctor said I did not have enough skin and breast tissue to push those 600s. Um, the majority of people want 300, 350, so that's your average of what the majority of people like. I really like the big full look. That's what I like. That's what I want. If you're gonna get a boob job, get a fucking boob job, okay? Like, that's my own opinion. So I'm gonna get some big old titties, and I got the 500s. They're gonna even look better when they fall, um... Not so, like, defuncitated when you first get them because they're stuck up in your muscle. So that's what the whole drop and fluff and looking natural thing you got to wait for. Um, so I did get a lift on top of the augmentation. So I do have uh, the scar underneath the scar. It's called a lollipop, and it goes around the nipples. I wanted my nipples smaller and more round. Um, so he did that for me, and I'm really excited. I get to take my tape off on Thursday if it doesn't come off by itself. Um, I still have the tape all around the incisions, um, so I can't wait to take those off and to kind of see more progress. Um, that's all I can think of right now. Everyone's just asking, you know, a little bit of the pain and how it went so I think I answered most of it um so this is today um they're more squishy you know I'm just waiting waiting for the fun and the goodness there's still a lot of bruising and stuff but that that's how it is um 
But yeah, if you have any more questions, just comment down below and I'll try to answer it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.